This is our bacteria overview figure. In this video, we'll be discussing Viridan streptococci, which you can see right here. This scene will be an epic comic book style fight between our venomous villain and a spider warrior. The venomous villain here represents Viridan's streptococci, so venomous for Viridan's. Before we get too far, you should already have noticed the background. Can you see how we've used a lot of purple and blue colors? That's because this is a gram-positive organism. This is a gram stain of streptococci. First off, notice that the organism stains purple, which is why it's a gram-positive organism. Also notice that the bacteria are circular or cocci shaped and they form long continuous chains. For example, you can see that right here. The unique morphology of cocci in chains gives the organism the name streptococci. Notice that this character has a very long and gross looking tongue. His mouth is also wide open, as if he's ready to eat someone or something. His big tongue and open mouth should help you remember that Viridans streptococci are part of the normal oropharyngeal flora. The venomous villain character is also considered a mutant. Look at his teeth, tongue, and body shape. He's clearly not a human. He even has a special design on his outfit that suggests he's a mutant. So think of this mutant-looking design on his body as representing Streptococcus mutans, which is a member of the Viridans group Streptococci. So, mutant for Streptococcus mutans. He also is a mighty warrior, as you can likely tell by his humongous muscles. So, think of his big muscles as a representation of Streptococcus mitis, which is also a member of the Viridans group Streptococci. So, mighty muscles for Streptococcus mitis. 